Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stoneblock 3. And yes, that is indeed a white power flower Mark 14 that we have right here. Basically, I got a little bit carried away and well, we are basically ready to upgrade to the final flower power available, which is Mark 15, producing however much AMC that is. <laughs> We're getting into numbers that I don't even... yeah. Anyway, Mark 15, Power Flower, just like that. Boom. And we should be generating 11, 15, 20, whatever G stands for. <laughs> that is awesome. And we can, of course, go ahead and learn it in here. And once we have enough EMC, we would be able to buy or buy, get one from this. However, of course, that is going to take a little bit of time. So I think I'm just going to get rid of this and this. This room will be made nice. And actually, you know what? We can just go ahead and do this and put it there. Eventually, we'll have more than one. Now, with that aside, we in the last episode set up automation for singularities and it is going pretty well. All of these are generating and I have picked up, I believe, every single one of them for uh, this right here, except for the magenta matter one. I don't think I've picked that up just yet. There we go. Quest completed. Boom. Random quest. Yeah, I'll take it. So these are the ones that we are missing and I have gone ahead and bookmarked some of the ones that I think will be relatively easy to get. They won't be EMCable, but they are going to be fairly easy to get. For example, we have the add-on processing tier 2 singularity where we need the well, add-on add -on processing tier 2. But in order to get it, we need all this thing, all these things which are EMCable, easy. However, glass pane is not EMCable, nor is latex. So I need to find out if there is a better way of getting latex than this. And then I need to set it, make a system set up for it so it can just run in the background. However, when it comes to automation, I think I want to start off a little bit easier and that is making the source gem automation, which should be fairly easy because we got tons upon tons of lapis lazuli. I should be able to just drag it from don't I have it over here? Okay, I thought I had set this to an ender drawer. I have not. I should be able to have a... I think I have a lapis... Lapis chicken. Yes, I do. So lapis lazuli is being generated. However, it doesn't have a... Oh, it does have a spot right there. So it could just pull it from this. Perfect. So I should be able to just copy the system right here. Pop an ender drawer connected to the, uh, the lapis lazuli right here. And then have that feed into a single neutronium compressor, which I should have plenty in here. Perfect. Yep, this should be very much doable. And this should be pretty much the entire setup for it. So I should be able to just go ahead and link these up. However, I do need to do one painful task, and that is disconnecting you, putting you in. Grab this, put that there, and go ahead and find the linking tool that links to this one. Add that to that. And question is if that lapis lazuli chicken is going to be fast enough. It is probably not. Uh, sneak right click again. Ooh, that's okay. Stored frequency. I need to punch it. I I need to punch it. I need to. I need to punch it. Okay. Okay. Let's try that again. Place lapis, punch, store frequency in the tool, which means I should be able to put, just put some in there so we have plenty. Go ahead and then right click the linking tool here. Boom. Lapis should be put in here. And then the crafting process continues. However, I'm pretty sure we can speed this up after transferring all of the lapis that we have from this specific drawer. Be right back. Right, so it says right here, the imbuement chamber uses source to craft items while it works faster with source jars nearby. It slowly generates source on its own. We know this. However, so I suppose if I were to make the same setup that we have over at the mother silverfish farm. So if I have a source jar right here and then a setup, let's go one further back. And some light sources would be really nice at this point in time. So if I place these, no, that give me 
place it like so and source links right there and then finally this tool is actually <laughs> a tiny bit annoying because it is too fast for what i needed to do anyway if we go ahead and put item pipes here go ahead and set those to nope that's pull i need to set this one to pull like so I should put coal and that should put source into that. Yep, there we go. 50% fall, draining ever so slowly. Uh, how do I get back? This is a lazy way of getting back. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so that should work a lot faster now. Yeah, that is definitely working a lot faster, except you are slow, too slow for my my liking. So if I just go ahead and do something like this instead and boop, just make sure you don't have, yep, you, you do have that, so that's fine. And this, hmm, oh, it, 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 yeah. that's not fine, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, done, move on, next, finish the process. And yep, perfect. That is, I think, as, by, as fast as we got to get it. Potentially, we could make it faster, but for now, this is totally fine. If I can just place my blocks down. There we go. Close this off, and boom, we will have neutronium. Uh, so, sorcium singularity, sorry, in very short time. Also, yes, I did go ahead and decorate it a little bit. It's nice, right? Anyways, the next one is the train track singularity. And to make these, we basically need to set up a recipe sequence, any type of stone slab, which we can very happily EMC. Uh, we need to run through this setup right here to get train tracks. So just to make sure that I get it right, I need to do some experimentation. Also, we now have enough EMC to buy a Fading power flower? Is that what it's called? White power... Oh, yes it is. MK15. I can go ahead and buy one. In fact, I can buy three. Wow. Um, I didn't expect that to happen this fast. <laughs> uh, yep. Love Project E. I haven't done this process in a while. Now, I haven't fiddled with Create ever since, well, the first couple of episodes because we didn't really do much more than this. So I need to set up something with the water wheels probably down there again. So I have something like this uh, running the setup right here, but down there. We'll have to see. However, this is my brass block. I should be... No, that's not what I wanted to do. I should be able to do this. Get that. Put that in there and get... One, two brass hands, and then uh, deployer, and boom, two. I said two. There we go. Now I have three. Perfect. So if I were to simply borrow this setup over here just as a testing facility, and we do something like this, we set up the exact same thing, like so, and I don't need a shaft, shaft, shaft. No. Uh-oh. Uh, maybe if I get rid of that first. And then... Deployer? No, it has to be downwards. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Wrench is apparently needed, and I will not be able to do this because it is overstressed. Right. I My testing methods has failed. And I have realized I am overcomplicating this a lot. I can just use my <laughs> existing uh, setup in order to do this. Uh, process in press. Do I need a press? Is a press a thing? It is a thing. Oh, I need a mechanical press. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That is not something I was prepared for. And the, the, the kinetic stress impact is is high. Oh, oh dear. Right, well, I think I can manage this. Why don't we make the end of this tunnel right here be the end of the simple singularities? Because the rest, this is going to require quite a big room. This is going to require quite a bit of setup as well. This as well. And we'll utilize some of the other rooms for that. 
For this one though, five by five area, this should be able to manage. Boop. Right, this is going to be quite a bit of fiddling. One thing I have not missed is doing this. <laughs> Getting uh, create ingredients is, can be tedious. All right, I have set up something here. That is going the wrong way. That's not a good start. There we go. Just add an extra gearbox and it solves all the problems. Right, train drag. I need to deploy iron nugget, so I think, or sink nugget, sorry. So if I do split these, just do that. Okay. Right. Now I just need some slabs. Which this part, thankfully, these are EMCable. So we can just go ahead and do that. Take a bunch of those. And we should be good for now. Also, speaking of EMC, we should be able to Yep, get quite a few more of Wow. Oh wow. Uh <laughs> I uh <laughs> Yeah, we have a lot of these now. Um, I can add five and then I can add even more on top here. Yep. Yep. Yes. Getting EMC is easy now. However, this is the moment of truth. Does this work? We apply the sink nugget. It could be an iron nugget as well. The sink nugget applies second time. This goes down very slowly, but it says bonk. And it goes off, and I think if I pick it up, yep, train track has been completed. Very good. All I need to go ahead and do now is pull this apart and move everything over one because I'm not satisfied. So put it down like this in case you're interested in seeing how it's done. Rotate all of these, and now we need to figure out a way of applying or giving these guys sink nuggets, which I'm not quite sure how we do just yet. But we can do this and we can have... I wonder if we can have a funnel connected to an item pipe? I highly doubt it. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I will need to break this. Have a chest of some sort right here. By the way, if any of you know how to expand the range of the wireless crafting grid from refined storage, Please do let me know down below in the comments because currently I only have this and it only, it's only 16 uh, block radius and it is absolutely killing me. It, it's it's just not, no, it's, it's not long enough. I would love it to have longer range. So if you know how to do that, please do let me know down below. All right, so if I place chest and decide funnel, set that, what is, I'm not going to worry about that. That should go in. Right, that should go in, and if we have something else over here, uh, block for now, then that would be the output, or the where the slab gets put on. So just to test, this goes on, goes across. Now I wonder if I could actually go ahead and add another water wheel to make this go faster. I possibly could, I'll try that afterwards. But, this should go in, and boom, train track, which then gets redirected to finally a neutronium compressor. There it goes. First track. Boom. One out of 80 for the first singularity. Are we close here? Oh, wait a minute. There we go. We are close. <laughs> the first source gem singularity completed. Now, again, I need to figure out how to add sink nuggets to these guys right here. Of course, Andesite is going to be very easy. We're just going to have a little bit of an EMC system over here to sort that problem out. Which, because we have so much EMC being generated, I'm pretty sure I can go ahead and add a chest to this, so that would take the output. And I think I can put this here and say generate Andesite slabs. Place this here. Set this to output. And this is indeed getting Andesite slabs from the EMC, and of course, this is then going to be eventually full and it gets stuck there. Perfect. 
that is actually a lot simpler than what we've done before, but that is because we didn't exactly have this much EMC being generated for us at that time. Now, again, the sink. So I wonder, can I hopper it in? I can't. Okay, that, that, I mean, that solves that problem. And this is EMCable as well. So if I just go back again, see that I really want the wireless traffic grid to last that long. I mean, the transportation, the transportation tablet would be nice as well. Anyway, I just need another one of these personal uh, EMC links. So we'll just four of those. Add this, then we give it sync nuggets, and boom. Right. So I add this here, then we add EMC link there. Tower to output. Sync nugget. And it should be as simple as that. Interesting. Oh, it's filling this up first. Right. Um, if I go ahead and do this. Oh, wow. Then it just becomes very fast. I mean, that's cool. That's cool, too. Now, this thing is just a bit slow. I Again, I wonder if I can add another water wheel back here. It does seem like it has sped this up just a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, I think it's going a little bit faster. I mean, to be honest, this is fine. However, I wonder if I if we add a third one. Nope, I think that is as fast as we go, but that's fine. That is totally fine. I'm happy with the speed. Yeah, that's not too bad, considering some of these other ones are slow as well. This is actually at a pretty decent pace. Now I, of course, just gotta decorate this, but I think it would be really cool to have this glass. Of course, make all this look nice, but glass and whatnot. I might do that on the stream. Decoration stream. Would you guys like that? Let me know down below in the comments. But that is then the train track singularity completed. We're on a roll here. Just add all this stuff away that I don't need anymore. I also really need to sort this backpack like really, really need. Now, another thing that I would love to try and do is I would love to have dark matter pedestals affecting all of the system. So if I just go ahead and add, for example, one down here. I mean, it's not going to make this go faster, but I think in general. Oh, yeah, by the way, I added a ton more. <laughs> emerald chickens back here and now it's going a lot faster. I don't know if this is actually having an effect. Let's have a look. Constant flow almost, if I disable that. I mean, this is going as fast as it, I think, possibly can. I don't think... I mean, we can see it on the emerald chickens. I don't think they're in range, so if we try and move it, just because... I'm willing to place a watch of flowing time on every single one of these if it's speeding the process up. Do that. Hmm. So we are able to do it. However, then I would need to probably switch to Elite Logistical. I know that sound is very annoying. I'm sorry. And boom. Yeah, then we would be able to do it. And this would happen a lot faster. So that might be something that we do eventually. For now, though, I think I'm happy with the speed. Oh, yeah, this is going to be done in no time. Now, let me just go ahead, casually get nine more of these without being able to feel it. And fill this up a little bit more, you know, just, just to add to the collection. <laughs> All right, the next one would be the compact machine wall or man of steel or map soul. Either way, uh, this should be fairly easy to do, I think. I may need to look at how you do this, but we need four of these field projectors, which requires some of this stuff, which should be fairly easy to get all of it. All right, four base, which is all we need for this. And uh, this thing right here. And then put those together and we have four field projectors. Perfect. Uh, we're also going to need redstone dust and iron blocks, which of course we get just like so. Uh, we also need ender. Render? No, ender. 
and the pearls. Now this I think will have to do in a little bit of a bigger environment because I think the setup for this is going to be quite big. So let me make a little bit of a more large, more large, larger room. I think this room should be fine. So I think, I think that, I think <laughs> that we do something like this. Yep, and that then generates this box right here. And I think what happens is we do this. No? Oh, there they are. 16 compact machine walls. Okay, so that worked. Now, because this requires a lot of actual block placement and then also throwing, we're going to be needing to set this up a little bit differently than what we normally would. And I'm pretty sure we do have, well, we do have the block placer, of course. There we go, got 60 more. Um, so these could potentially work. Uh, place, block place, do we have anything else? We also have the builder from RF Tools. Uh, yeah, vehicle builder, work in progress. Okay, uh, I'll take it. Uh, block placer, builder, honestly, this recipe seems easier. Hopefully it works with redstone as well. I need to see though, does it work if it's on the edge? It does, perfect. All right, two builders made. Now I am, ho whoa. That is, um, Wow, <laughs> that's and uh, uh, this is a lot. Well, this machine right here is a lot simpler. However, it does not work without power, but that's fine. We should be able to sort that out. I'm also going to make this right here a timer because I believe that this together with a hopper is going to make it a lot easier to do the ender pearl dropping. Um, I'm just going to, of course, uh, can I, can I just make, I have so much EMC now. I should be able to just make like a ton of these, per that can't click the right thing. A ton of these personal EMC links and all of this has EMC. So I should be able to just connect it all like that, right? Well, let us find out. I have everything I think I need. All right, so block placer. I assume I'll be able to place if I actually went ahead and face them in the right direction, right? Can go ahead and give them, I brought two. I know I brought two. It, it cheated me. It tricked me. I do not appreciate it. Give me both of them. And ka -ching. Both of these should have power now. So if I give it this and this. Perfect. And if I then, so how's this timer going to work? Delay 20. Uh, so that's tick. So that's one second. Hmm. Okay. So if I do this, I hope it doesn't break. Oh, so you have to wait maybe two minutes. Hold on. I have to time this actually. All right. So I have my timer. I'm going to drop, start the timer and we'll have to see. I think boom place again. Okay. 15 seconds seems to be good. So that means I need to go ahead and do a 15 times 20. So that is a 300. So we need a delay of 300. Yeah, this is gonna be fine. <laughs> okay, delay. 300. Let's just try 300, not 3000, 300. And we'll give it well, the personal EMC link, this set to output, 
um, end up pearl. Like, do I need one? There we go. And a pearl. That's gonna get ender pearls. And this. So we can set something like this, where we do output. This will then be iron block. Hello. There we go. <laughs> Acting up weird. And you know what I can actually do with this and not do that. Set this to output. Set this to redstone. Perfect. I think that should work. However, this doesn't seem to do what it's supposed to. It only takes us one second and we're set to... It's doing it weird. It's acting very weird. This is supposed to go off, right? Maybe it needs a redstone signal? No? Eh? Oh, it's... This is very confusing. <laughs> if I go ahead and disable my magnet for a minute. Oh, and now 300 is working. Okay, let's wait. Okay. And... Okay, it's trying to place the blocks. That is obviously not working. It is dropping those. Place, place. Okay, and drop in the pearl. Okay, so that would have... I would have gone in there if I wasn't here. Okay. It works. Now all I need is a ender pickup thingy. This advanced item collector. Or basic item collector. Uh yeah, that works. That should do the trick perfectly. And then item pipes, yes. These up to this leading then into an ender drawer. It should be in business here. If I place this here. And I need to... No, I need an advanced one because I need a f filter on it. I'm sure I have an advanced item collector somewhere. But anyway, this should have... Yes, items can be filtered like it says. We can do this. And it's set to blacklist. So whitelist it only takes this and we can... Reduce the area, however, we will need to have it up. Just to make sure that we catch everything. Yeah, that's fine. Then all I need to do is destroy my beautiful <laughs> floor and put in some pipes. Oh, they do not connect. I may need to have a chest here. No problem, just add a chest right there. Just put those there and do this and have this set to this all the way over and we'll have to go up. Then cobblestone, place this. And it's not going to be symmetrical. I want this here, making this very more complicated than it has to be, but it's fine. It'll look good, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> uh, disconnect that, right? Those are getting over. They are getting sent over. We can go ahead and do this. Boom, boom. And wall singularity is being created before our very eyes. I really want to figure out what sound that is because it is uh, render project. Mm -hmm. I really want to mute that ring sound. But anyways, this has been done. And we should already have our first wall singularity just like so. That actually wasn't too bad. That was actually pretty easy. And do we have another one over here? We do have a real singularity. Or train track singularity. Beautiful. We got that. We got bread for that, right? Uh, we got that. 
and we got an elytra. I think I only have one of those actually. Also, I can go ahead and turn my magnet back on. Perfect. Again, having glass here, I think would be splendid. And we already have two. All right, I think we are running out of time for this episode. I don't want it to be too long. In fact, I don't even know how long it is. However, before we end it, oh boy, we're running out of storage on that drive. Uh, I want to make the gem armor, which I think would be really, really cool because that would finish off the Project E thing here. Well, as soon as I already have this. Oh, I don't actually. Is this new? I mean, I'll make it for sure. Uh, anyway, all I need to make is the alchemy table, the transmutation tablet, which is really expensive. We'll get to that eventually, but we would get, well, this section down here completed. However, the compressed refined thing here, uh, if I go ahead and do this, I just realize I need, I need a lot more. <laughs> need three more, and then I can go ahead and get this and i can learn it refined that's not the one i got personal that's what it's called personal and get stack <laughs> just like that i can do this and i need a bunch of those six six of those and boom, don't even know what I'm going to be needing it for, but I'll definitely throw it in there. And I, I got a furnace wrapping paper, so I don't really care about that. But yes, this armor, we would need soul stone. Oh boy, that's actually quite a bit here. Um, black hole band, sock in item drops. Okay, watch a flowing time. Okay, uh, I got some crafting to do. All right, need a soul stone. That's easy enough. This amulet, which is done, and I need another clean star. I should be able to just take mine, learn it, and then get, I believe, four for each. We have so much EMC. It is unbelievable. Then I can take off my armor. I can add it to this because then this is the gem helmet. Apparently, I already had an amulet. Okay, that's cool. Then I need the chest plate, which for that I need sugar. And hopefully I have enough for this. I do indeed. Beautiful. I do have this. And that's the wrong thing. Body stone. That is then the gem chest plate. <laughs> Black hole band. Also very easy to get. What does it do? Sucks in nearby item drops. Dumps in adjacent inventories. I don't know if that's good or not, but I, I'll take it. Also have a spare watch of flowing time, so that's just make it gonna make this process a lot easier. And two of these right here. Actually, why haven't I made this before? This is very easy to do. Two of those, and boom, gem boots has been acquired. And just like that, we have really powerful armor in stone block three. I think I can probably get rid of this. Lifestone, I th think I can take the, that out as well because it should be in my armor since I have the soul stone and body stone. Oh yeah, oh, uh, oh wow, I'm fast. And I can fly without any issues whatsoever. However, I'm pretty sure... Oh, I don't actually have gravel in this. Okay, well, I do now to prevent that from happening. And I can go ahead and... Well, I don't even need the clean star omega. I can add it in here. Then it can get charged just like that. Wow. But guys, I'm going to call this an episode right here. I really hope you have enjoyed it again. If you have any tips or tricks, anything like that, please do let me know down below in the comments, especially if you know how to extend the range of the wireless crafting grid, because that would be absolutely huge. And yeah, that, yes. If you let me know how and it works, I'll pin you up, I'll, I'll pin your comment. We have 13 wall singularities already. Still two of these, but we're getting on with the third one. We're doing really good progress when it comes to the singularities, which I am really, really happy. That, that's the wrong one. Really, really happy about. We are getting into some of the more complicated ones, but hopefully we'll be able to knock them out the park. Is that something you even say? I don't think so. But anyways, before I get more carried away, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. And I hope to see you 
in the next one. Have a wonderful day and until next time, goodbye.